Here we have a very nice looking 2008 BMW 120i SC convertible in blue. Starts with the offside front tyre. Tread depth, now this looks fairly new because we've easily got a good 5 to 6 millimetres of tread there. Looking at the offside front alloys, we're getting a good look at the condition. No sign of any uh, scuffs. We have got a bit of curbing though on the outside. I've tried to try and focus on that. So as you can see, a bit of curbing there and a bit of a scuff mark actually there as well. So potential refurb, but not bad at all really. Looking down the offside of the car, uh, I can see a small dink in the driver's door, but that's about it. No signs of any dents. Around the offside front arch, nice clean condition, just a couple of light scratches. Driver's mirror, that's all looking good. Driver's door itself, again, just the odd one or two light scratches will need a bit of a polish. Uh, a little bit of a minor chip in the paintwork there will need a touching. Of course, it is a cloth roof. This looks in really nice condition. Can't see any damage at all on the driver's side. Around the rear arch, again, all looking well, just a couple of light scratches. Looking on the rear tyre, good four to five millimetres there. Looking on the rear alloy, again, taking a good look at the con uh, condition-wise. No curbing or any scuffs. Moving towards the rear ends of the vehicle. On the back here, you've got rear parking sensors. Again, just the one or two light scratches on the loading bay and bumper that will need a bit of a polish, but no signs of any damage at all there. Inside the boot, um, you have got your wind deflector in there, so it does come with a wind deflector, which is really nice. Near side rear tyre, again, good four to five millimetres of tread. Looking on at the rear alloy, on the near side, again, clean condition, very light curb mark or scuff to the bottom there, but not bad at all. Looking down the near side of the body, can't see any dinks or dents at all down there. Again, just the odd one or two light scratches uh, to the paintwork, we'll need a bit of a polish, the door edge is clean. On this side as well, the roof looks really well with no signs of any damage. Mirror is fine, front arch, that's all clean, and a good 5 to 6 mil on the front tyre. Looking on the near side front alloy, taking a good look at the condition here, looking around the alloy itself, no curbing or any scuff marks there. And moving around to the front of the vehicle, you've also got the front parking sensors, a couple of light scratches on the front, there's a little bit of a light scuff mark here, that'll need a little bit of paint. Apart from that again, looks clean, just a couple of stone chips there, and a couple of stone chips on the bonnet of the vehicle. Now taking a look at the interior. As you can see, you've got the light cream interior, which goes really nice with the exterior colour. A little bit of wearing there on the bolster. Again, that's just age-related. No signs of damage, though. Front passenger seat's also in a lovely condition. Back seats, they are immaculate. No marks whatsoever, and no wearing, really, to the leather. Also a little bit of wearing to the top of the seat there. Stepping inside the vehicle itself, the dashboard and sense consoles all looking very clean and tidy. No marks or scratches. Steering wheel is only a slight bit of wearing around there. Now we do get two sets of keys with the car and looking at the display whilst I start the vehicle. As you can see, no issue at all starting the car. Starts perfectly fine. No service lights, etc. on there either. 56,191 miles and the car runs exactly how it should do. Wonderful multifunction steering wheel with cruise control behind there. As you can see with the display, there's no issues at all with the sound of course. But the display, as you can see, it is pixelated, so do be wary of that. No issues at all with the blowers, air conditioning works. You've also got heated seats in the vehicle as well, which is a very nice feature. Parking sensors, of course, the roof works perfectly fine, um, so no issues at all with the roof there. And uh, looking at the manual box, now documents-wise, of course, the plate is on retention, uh, but the car's had two, only the one owner. Um, so it's only had the one owner on the vehicle, which is brilliant. And obviously the MOT went off with the retention, but the MOT is May 7th, 2016. And service history. You've got one stamp done at BMW at 11,000. You've got your second one there at 28. 40, and unfortunately there's no mileage, but uh, date-wise you can see it's done recently. Um, you'd assume around the sort of uh, late 40s, 50s mark. There you go guys, that's the 2008 BMW 120i SE convertible, some lovely spec to the car, it's also in nice condition as well.